Well, good afternoon, tubers. Actually, good Super Bowl Sunday afternoon. Me and Bander are down here at the park, 60-something degrees. He's done run out. I'm um, sitting in the van, about to go get something to eat. Super Bowl starts at 4.30. I plan to plug in and watch my TV. Oh, you can see it there. I think the game is being broadcast on the Fox station. I believe I get that one over the air, so I'll watch that uh, here in the, in the van. I could go somewhere, but I really don't like all the noise and confusion, to be honest with you. And uh, so we're just going to, you know, chill out at the store in the parking lot at, you know, ground zero. Um, not sure what I'm going to do for lunch today. I had a little bit to eat at work today. I'm not real hungry, and I bought a couple of small uh, Italian uh, subs, which uh, I left in the refrigerator. I'll either eat those for dinner tonight or save them for tomorrow if I go get something to eat. Well, let's see what's on the agenda. Hmm. Trump? What the fuck? Hey, what the fuck? This guy's out of his mind. I can't believe that the... Uh, the responsible adults in the room haven't taken an action to get this crazy maniac out. I mean, it's beyond, I, I, and it's not like I'm watching the fake news or whatever. I'm watching this son of a bitch lie, you know, say one thing one day and say something else the next day and you know, try and say something else the third day and then four, four or five his henchmen out to make some shit up the next day. I'm tired of it already and it's been three weeks, but we'll see how that goes. My vote is get the guy out. You're fired. Now, what else I got to you? Oh, what about uh, the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project with uh, Troy Reed? I call him Trinket and his mail-order bride. Uh, that's spiraling out of control. He's lost any semblance of off-grid living that he ever had, basically. Um, he spent the last month and a half dinking around with some kind of perpetual uh, magnetic motor thing, which he think, I don't know, apparently it's a $4,000 battery charger, you know, and you gotta have it if you're off grid, according to Troy Reed, an idiot. Um, but that's about to hit the wall. I think he's, uh, more than likely been forced to live in the tiny shack on wheels and, uh, doesn't have, uh, the paperwork to do it. And I'm pretty sure somebody's going to drop a dime on him here pretty soon. He's going to end up having to move. We'll have tale of woe. I mean, here's a guy who actually had a, a, a fundraising drive to get a ticket to the Philippines to pick up his mail order bride and can't even afford to feed the woman. So, you know, I don't know where the immigration naturalization service is on this, but somebody needs to take a look into that. What else we got? Now, I've been watching a channel called, I think it's Living Free, a fella in a van, no, a fella in a pickup truck with a camper van on the back of it who's having trouble uh, staying warm with the same heater that I have, the little buddy propane heater. Now, of course, this guy's like up in Minnesota or something. I mean, I could be wrong about this. Some northern climate where it's really, really cold and uh, those camper shells have absolutely no insulation in them and he's run into all kind of moisture problems and, of course, he can't get it vented properly uh, to keep his carbon monoxide detector going off. Now, I don't have that problem here in Nellie Bell because being here in the uh, high mountain meadows, the uh, humidity is practically zero most of the time. And any moisture that kicks out of my propane heater is, is welcome in the van. Uh, I, I never have any kind of moisture issues. I leave the windows cracked pretty good uh, so I don't have any issues with the carbon monoxide either. Of course... You know, I've switched over to electric heat when I'm, you know, at, at my, my bivouac spot in the parking lot at 7-Eleven. Uh, so I don't really have to worry about that. And I usually only run the heater when I'm away from the store for, you know, a few hours at a time when I'm catching some free Wi-Fi. And that's another thing about the free Wi-Fi. I mean, I have excellent download. I mean, it's just like in Germany, really. I got excellent download. I could keep track of everything. But my upload was just horrible. I think I have a spot now where my upload speed is, you know, worth making an upload. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Uh, the places that I've been trying to upload, I usually, you know, I'm there for a couple hours. I don't get anything uploaded. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe 12% or something. I just don't have, you know, eight hours to sit and wait for a, a five-minute video to upload. So I think I have a spot for that. Uh, I got my last video of the van upgrades uh, uh, uploaded a few days ago in this spot. And um, maybe at some future time, I'll do a map of all the free Wi-Fi spots here in, in Fort Collins or try and 
and expand the map of free Wi-Fi spots. You know, McDonald's and those kind of places are fairly useless. They've got the interface that goes through. They're very, they're very restricted as far as the time that you can be on at one IP address and about how much you can upload. Although I will say, when I first got here last year, I did get, you know, several videos uploaded through the McDonald's system uh, before I found some alternatives. But uh, other than that, let's see what else is on the agenda. Well, there was something that I wanted to address. Um, future plans? Yeah. Um, well, you know, I've been in the van for over a year now, and, uh, you know, everybody thinks I ought to get a bigger van, get an RV. Um, it, I just I just don't think it's going to happen. I, I, I can't imagine much of an advantage. I mean, here's the deal. The, my minivan has no kitchen and no bathroom. I have the store as well as many other public restrooms that I can pop into at any time I want. And food-wise, there's no way I'm going to try and cook in this van. I mean, I could get a little propane stove or something and cook in here. But this is a small van, and it would quickly be overcome with food scents. And, you know, that's if I didn't burn the thing down, you know, somehow with a grease fire or some crap so you know it's actually easier for me just to go out and eat I, I get tired of eating out I mean and I and of course it costs me a little bit more to eat out because I'm eating out every day because I can't eat McDonald's every day but by the time I factor in you know buying all the stuff and going through all the prep and everything uh, for my purposes right now I, I I don't have a problem with not having a uh, a, a kitchen in here or a bathroom. If push came to shove, I could get one of those little porta potty things that you dump out, um, you know, in a, in a toilet or something. But it, that hasn't been an issue. Um, you know, I, I be, between my marriage of the van at the store, and especially since the addition of the electric, um, I I'm I'm, I'm happy as a as, you know as as a flying slop or whatever pig and slop. So. Uh, we're going to keep rocking on this situ on this setup as long as I can, uh, you know. Even with the uh, lack of rent and uh, utilities, uh, it's still so expensive to live out here, and I make so little money that accumulating money is a fairly slow and tedious process. Uh, I have, you know, done fairly well. I mean, I'm not in a position where I can buy. Uh, land and build a tiny house yet I'm gonna have to do something probably uh, some kind of a fundraising deal or uh, I don't know I haven't figured that out yet I'll get to that when I get to that um, I'm thinking at this point probably working through at 7-eleven until the end of this year um, maybe till next summer and trying to do the, the you know, try and find some land and, and start a tiny house uh, if not this summer, next summer. That's kind of the goal I have. Um, Bandit has not been well. Um, he hasn't had any more seizures, uh, but at least he hasn't had any seizures when I've been around, okay? Um, I've got uh, some of this uh, uh, coconut oil infused weed thing that my buddy uh, Robert gave me on uh, uh, the New Year's, I think I was over at his house. And I've been rubbing that on Bandit's belly, and I think that helps him. I I, I believe that has has made the uh, uh, the seizures abate. But at the end of the day, uh, he has a fair amount of nerve damage, and uh, he you know from a from a car wreck that he that he had before I ever got him uh, 13 years ago, and uh, that he's always had this problem with his uh, left leg shaking. You know, people would say, "Oh, he's cold." No, he's not cold. He's you know that's a nerve thing. And as he's aged, that shaking is starting to take over a little bit more and a little bit more. And, you know, he's having a little bit more trouble. Um, but what can I do? I mean, he's, he's comfortable. He's happy. I get him out, take him to the park. He's, you know, led a full life. I'm, I'm going to miss him when he's gone. And I'm hoping that he hangs around me for a little while. Um, you know, I hate to have to say anything about it, but I didn't want it to be a shock. I'm, I'm, it's going to be a shock to me whenever it happens. I'm trying to get my head around it. Um, you know, he might he might last another couple of years. He might not last a couple of other weeks. Um, it's sometimes maybe it's a, sometimes uh, it's very worrisome. You know, he has like I say, he's he's got some issues. But uh, 
we're doing fine uh, for the most part. And, uh, you know, it's like anything else, I guess, you know. Uh, as usual, I, I had a good day yesterday. I'm having an excellent day today. And I will be rooting for whoever is going to beat New England. I don't care who it is. I mean, I don't really watch football. I haven't had a chance. Uh, Atlanta, I think it is today. I'm a big Atlanta fan today. So I'm not really rooting for anybody so much as I'm rooting against, uh, you know, the dominant player here that I, I think the Patriots might have even beat my beloved Broncos at some point in time so there's even more reason to hate on them but uh, like I said I'm having a great day today and I expect I'll have a good day tomorrow so for now we're out